The only thing worse than hearing your politics would be seeing your face. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Loon Pip, and as you probably guessed, I'm Pip. Now, I know and I'm testament to the notion that often what we get isn't quite what we expect. You order a watch from AliExpress after watching one of these YouTube reviews, and about three or four years later it arrives and meh. You probably got the same feeling when this video started playing. However, there are one or two brands that book this trend. One of them is San Martin, and today we're going to be looking at this. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do me a massive favour and subscribe. I'm very, very close to 3,000 subscribers, and once we get to that number, I'm giving away a watch. Hit the bell to be notified as to when I next upload, and to hear all the details of the giveaway. Full disclosure, San Martin gave me a 30% discount on this watch, however, that will have no impact whatsoever on the review. Now let's get into it. So the San Martin SN0021-B is the Chinese brand's take on the Tudor Black Bay 36. A watch I've only tried on, but I've never actually owned. Saying that, I'm not really sure I even need to now. First, let's look at the dimensions. And while on paper this pays homage to the Tudor Black Bay 36, this is actually 37mm in diameter. That's not a huge difference I know, and it's not the one that I prefer really here on the San Martin. I'll get to that later. The lug to lug is a very tidy 46mm, meaning combined with that female end link, this wears really well on smaller wrists. And the thickness of just under 12mm means you'll fit this under a shirt cuff no problem. To paraphrase the rumours that circulate about something very personal of mine in school, it's thin. The bracelet tapers nicely down to 16mm and back up to 19mm at the clasp. Yeah, 19mm, remember that for later. The case back is screwed down, as is the crown, but it's a pretty plain affair. Just sort of radial brushing. Thankfully, Sam Martin do seem to have decided on a logo. It's the hexagonal logo here, which is applied on the dial, though there are variants where it's printed, and those can come in different colours too. It's kind of carved onto the crown, and then I assume pressed onto the clasp? That clasp, by the way, is an absolute beauty. It locks into place really nicely, and I assume the other big export of San Martins beyond their watches is probably something like handcuffs? So, uh, Army Hammer, if you're watching. There's four level of micro adjust, so you're probably going to get a pretty good fit. And the finishing, as with the rest of the watch, is superb. The head of the watch has polished flanks, whilst the upper is brushed. And thankfully, there are no sharp edges. So, um, Army, possibly not the brand for you then. The crown threads in nicely, and the high beat China made PT5000 power in this watch is running an impressive plus one second per day, well within cost parameters. There is a go state position, but if that doesn't bother you, then you can't really fault the configuration here. It's also available with the Swiss made Solita SW200, however, purely based on my knowledge of arcade game high scores, the PT5000 is roughly 25 times the movement that that is. But no, a better reason to choose the PT5000 might be that it's a cheaper movement, which, like the Solita, is a clone of the venerable ETA 2824. So it hacks, it hand winds, and, unlike you, it has a date. But this watch is so cool that it's practically said no to the date, which is something that you just tell yourself you've done. Admittedly, it's a complication that I normally love having on a watch, but the symmetry of this piece has had me cooing like a horny pigeon, it looks great, it feels great. For me, the hallmark of a great watch is one that you forget you're wearing. You won't be able to forget this though, the loom is fantastic. Honestly, the applied markers are filled to the brim with BGW9 Super Luminova, and the last person this close to a compound so potent was Michael Gove's Coke dealer. This is strong stuff. Even my own Black Bay 58's loom, a bonafide dive watch, didn't shine like this. And while the clickbait thumbnail might not be to everyone's tastes, including me, sorry, it's actually true. I do prefer this over the Tudor original that it's paying homage to. And I love Tudor. It's just about the best thing that's ever come from Britain having a monarchy. And the company's founder, Hans Wilsdorf, is like an old German granddad. 
but one whose exploits during the 20th century you'd actually be comfortable discussing at a dinner table. However, the smile dial of the Tudor Black Bay 36 doesn't really do it for me. It makes it look too fun, too casual, too untooly. I'm a boring, serious tool. Which is why I prefer the straight laced dial text of the San Martin. Not that it's perfect, for a start, the font is about as imaginative as something that Adam Levine would send to a model on Instagram. It's just such a boring font, I'm guessing it's maybe Arial? And look, the last person this pissed off by seeing Arial was probably a 55 year old pervert, pretty angry about the casting of the Little Mermaid film. San Martin, if you scroll a little further down that font list, you'll get to Wingdings. Now there's a font you can set your watch to. Also, just putting automatic and the water resistance rating, um, I reckon they can do a bit better than that. What about something like self winding or water resistant? Basically the same things, but said in a cool way. I'm thinking a thesaurus could come in very handy here. I even use them for my videos. Now onto the other obvious downsides. Oh, or should that be the manifest disbenefits? N no, I think that's actually a conservative party philosophy. Anyway, the bad stuff. This list of negatives is, to again paraphrase those schoolyard rumours, a short one, because this watch gets so much right. However, the 19mm lug width will please nobody. San Martin very kindly sent me some very good quality NATO straps to try out with this watch and they're, well, they're 20mm, they're too big. 20mm would have been perfect here, and it seems like a real oversight on San Martin's part. Maybe they'll bring out an iteration with one more millimetre in future. Saying that, take it from someone who's waited around 14 years for one more millimetre. You're better off just enjoying what you have. In this case, it's an incredibly well-built watch with superb finishing for the price. But that's my final hang-up. This costs around £326. That's quite pricey for an AliExpress watch. I know there are more expensive watches on there, but we all know where we tend to hover on AliExpress. Personally, I stick to around £70 to £250. Above that, and we're getting into Swiss entry-level brands like Steinhardt, Tissot and Certina, especially on the secondary market. But none of those brands really get close to the tolerances and the finishing of the San Martin. That, in turn, doesn't get close to those three, more so the latter two, in terms of heritage. If you can get over that though, this is just about as good as it gets from a brand which is, really, the king of AliExpress. So that's San Martin's take on the Black Bay 36, but what do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it as good as the original, or just another crappy homage? Whatever you think, tell me in the comments. Also in the description below is an affiliate link. Now, you don't pay any more for the watch. However, AliExpress will give me a small commission. Thanks so much for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it. And please do subscribe to be in with a chance of winning that watch in the next video. In the description, you'll also find the affiliate. So that's the... S Whatever you fit. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.